Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. It's your boy Delray Richardson, platinum artist, platinum songwriter, uh, Straight Game TV. Hit the thumbs up button. Uh, tell a friend. Subscribe to the channel. And if you're one of the new people to the channel, please uh, do me a favor. Hit the bell notification so that you can be one of the first people notified when I drop some of this straight game. I'm going to get right into it. Yo, this question comes from a young man um, from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And the question is, is uh, Benzino just made a statement in regards to uh, Tupac's situation and comparing it to the Chris Rock and um, Will Smith situation, basically saying that um, Will Smith, what happened to Tupac could have happened to Will Smith in regards to what he did to Chris Rock. Uh, do you agree with that or do you disagree? Um, I respectfully disagree with that. Um, I met Benzino before I, I attended one of his uh, source parties here in L.A. Um, cool brother um, and, and, and all of that, but I respectfully disagree. And the reason why I say that is because, number one, you got to understand the temperament that was going on back then, right? You take Will Smith and Chris Rock, who were celebrities, um, both are celebrities, you know, nobody's you know, feeling um, one upped on the other. You know what I mean? Tupac's situation was different based on the fact that he was a, a superstar at that particular time. And and like I said, Will Smith is not hanging out with um, uh, nobody like Suge Knight at that particular time who um, everybody know was affiliated, uh, gang affiliated from that perspective. So when you deal with the, the two, it, it's, it's almost... Uh, laughable that um that benzino would would say that you know what i mean like i said i understand on the ideal sense of what he's saying you know anything could have happened you know you know chris rock could have took one of those oscars you know and basically um you know hit will upside his head or whatever you know what i mean he could have did anything you know what i mean but from the uh the comparison to tupac is 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 really far-fetched you know, I, like I said, I, I understand, you know, where he was going with it. And just to give you a, another example of, of why that wouldn't be, um, you know, after the Oscars, you're not going to catch uh, Will Smith and Jada Pinkett in no kind of car together, you know, riding down any kind of street. You know, usually uh, they come in a car service, right, which should have been the situation involving Tupac Shakur at that particular time if you – you know, really, and see, that's the difference between the thinking and, and how things move, how things roll. As you see Chris Rock now, you know, he's securityed up, you know what I mean? You know, you know, for somebody else trying to do the same thing, you know, and, and that's the problem with what happened, you know what I mean? You got people who want to try to uh, get famous or, or get some clout, and they'll try to do something to, you know, Chris Rock or, or maybe even the Will Smith, you know what I mean? So, you know, right now, security is real, real heavy. So in, in that sense, you're not going to see Jada Pinkett and Will Smith, you know, riding down uh, Sunset Boulevard with the top down and the windows down and just chilling. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know, uh, we having a good time. And it's after the Mike Tyson uh, uh, fight. You understand what I'm saying? So that's the reason why that, that wouldn't happen. Not saying that, you know, if Chris Rock or... Um, uh, his brother, you know, seeing Will Smith that they wouldn't approach him and, 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 you know, try to, you know, find out what's going on. But I don't think that um to the degree of, of what that was involving Tupac, when you deal with the, the street element of it, right, then you're dealing with the East Coast, West Coast beef, and then you're dealing with all of the backstories involving that, not just the uh, uh, the, the Lakewood uh, Mall incident with the with the chain being snatched and all of that. But you got to go back to the uh, the situation with, with Jake down in Atlanta and all of those other things that happened before that, uh, uh, before Tupac was actually even on death row, if you will. <clears throat> so 
when you deal with that, it's just it's just simply not a comparable thing. Like I said once again, you know, for the sensationalism of the moment, you know, anybody could say anything could happen. You know what I mean? But like I said once again, and then you then you deal with the fact that um um in in going to Vegas and being in Vegas, right? Um, the situation would happen. Uh, Chris Rock is not a hardcore gang member. You know what I mean? Uh, Chris Rock wouldn't we wouldn't consider uh, is about the business, if you will. You know, Chris Rock is worth millions of dollars. You know what I mean? So the thought process that would would transpire between why he didn't react, right, versus why um, Will Smith did what he did and felt like he could get away with that from that perspective, you know, um, based on the fact that, you know, one minute he's laughing and, and Jada looks at him you know, with a look of displeasure or discomfort from the joke that was just told for him, you know, from him, you know, reacting and doing what he did to Chris Rock. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I think if it was somebody else, I think Will Smith wouldn't have did that. I think he, you know, basically he picked his 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 poison at that particular time and then hitting Chris Rock. So just the thing, I don't think Chris Rock would look at it like that and be like, yeah, you know, you know, call up the homies or whatever, whatever, and 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 let's you know, you know, do this or whatever. Go get in a car full of group of people, you know what I mean, <clears throat> and um, and go looking for uh Will Smith and Jada Pinkett. Like you know, let's ride on them. You know what I mean? I don't I don't think that would happen. You know, from that perspective. Like I said, I do think that um, you know, there's there's uh some disenchantment there. I think you know, uh, Will Smith in doing what he did, he was wrong. But like I said, to compare that situation to a Tupac situation in regards to Vegas is is it be totally disingenuous. And so now then you look at the, 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 the other aspect of it from the Lakewood Mall situation over the gold chain. Right. It's like, well, you know, uh, from the perspective, well, a, a gold chain, it wasn't even really truly about the chain. It was just about the principle from the perspective of it just being, you know, that that street thing, you know. And so when Tupac did what he did, I understand it. But the situation uh, didn't actually happen to Tupac from that perspective like it did for Will and Jada. That was an on the spot thing. I think emotional thing from that perspective. Um, I think in Tupac's case, Tupac was trying to prove a point. And like I said, and putting his hand on uh, Orlando Anderson is something that he just shouldn't have did. I don't think that he understood what he was dealing with at that time. But I think the people around Tupac understood that a little bit more uh, than he did and, and shouldn't have allowed that to happen. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah. So so for Benzino to to uh, to basically compare that, you know, like I said, I respect his opinion. But factually, when you look at the 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 underlying circumstances and the, the, the players involved with the circumstances, nah, you know what I mean? But like you say, anything can happen. You know what I mean? And it, it doesn't always have to come from the people who you actually have the beef or the uh, uh, the, the situation with. You know, you have sometimes you got people who want to jump in and, and just, you know, get get a get a little bit of shine or a little bit of fame or, or whatever have you. You understand what I'm saying? And so that's the thing that you got to be careful of, you know. Um, in, but like I said, anything can happen. Anything can happen. But as far as to compare the Tupac situation. Nah, it, 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 that wouldn't have, you know, you got two, you know, one guy hosting the Oscars and the other guy who's actually, um, you know, anticipating on receiving uh, uh, an Oscar. You know what I mean? Two totally different um, uh, situations. Furthermore, I would go into the situation with Denzel Washington and Tyler Perry and, and people uh, who are a little bit older and understand the game. And understanding um, the situation, running in and being uh, a positive uh, uh, feedback figures in regards to how to view that situation and letting Will Smith know, hey, you know, whatever their conversation was, because Denzel wouldn't speak on it uh, the other day. He was on um, uh, T.D. Jake's uh, uh, Christian uh, network or his 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 platform, if you will, you know. He wouldn't talk about what they talked about, but I think those uh, positive influences coming in and speaking to Will Smith and, you know, probably speaking to Chris Rock about the situation, 
I think, you know, cooler heads prevailed in that situation. As you see, Chris Rock, his shows have been selling out and so on and so forth. So, you know, um, and I think Will has been, you know, basically condemned enough. I don't think he really wants anything else, you know, involved in that. I think, you know, the, you know, his bad boy production, the, the Netflix uh, uh, movie that he had coming out, all of those things have been put on hold. And from my understanding, I think he's he's checked into some kind of a, a, a rehabilitation uh, center. You know what I mean? From uh, you know dealing with his anger management and dealing with a, under, a, a lot of underlying issues that he had that really you know truly honestly didn't have to do with Chris Rock and the joke that he told. You know what I mean? From the uh, August Alcina you know thing you know with the red table talk and and all of the other stuff that that has come about. You know when you when you deal with the the bigger picture and what he has to deal with as a celebrity. So, yeah, you know, so the Tupac comparison, mm, nah, not even hardly. Um, but like I said, at the end of the day, you just never know what could happen, but not in this situation. This is a different situation. This is a situation where everybody's kind of like on an equal playing field. Um, we're not dealing with it, any kind of gang activity, anything like that. Um, it's a misunderstanding and overreaction. Uh, you know, apology was given, and and like I said, you know, when you deal with the the bigger picture of it, I think Denzel Washington, Tyler Perry, and all of the people who were there, the elder statesmen, should I say, came in and basically, you know, helped quell that situation and gave a different perspective and point of view. And and like Denzel said, I think we'll let the the devil, like you say, you at your highest moment. You know, you didn't get a, the Oscar for Ali. You know what I mean? And here it is, you know, King Richard, and you get the Oscar, and you let this situation, uh, let your emotions take over in this situation involving Chris Rock, um, ultimately, you know, hurting uh, your your the optics of how you're viewed now as an individual, and um, and you know, stalling your career, if you will, you know what I mean. So um, yeah, that comparison I totally disagree with, but like I say, you know, Benzino can. You know, have his point of view and his perspective, but um, I don't think that that's in no way comparable to what happened to Tupac and what could possibly happen to Will Smith in that situation. Your boy Delray, straight game.